Hi everybody and welcome back. My name is Alison, the online piano and the online violin tutor. So welcome to lesson nine, part three. Um, I've decided to split lesson nine up into three different chunks just because I thought it would be more manageable. Uh, lesson nine in one whole video would just be the longest in the world. So I've split it up just to make it easier for you guys. Uh, lesson nine uh, as a whole was just playing hands together. So part one was introducing hands together. Part two is where we were putting in rests and ties and part three is now where we're going to be adding in sharps, flats and naturals. And I'm gonna be explaining all of those. You might find some of these pieces are now starting to get a little bit difficult, a little bit difficult for you, but it's there's nothing in there that you haven't learned from that book. There's nothing in there that I haven't taught you. And it's just, it really is just a case of practice. You can watch me play the exercises over and over and over again and it really is just a case of practice so don't be put off by the look of the music never judge a book by the cut by its cover as they say a lot of students a lot of my students from personal experience tend to look at a piece of music and go oh, no i'm not playing that that looks well hard but actually if you look closely at the music you'll find that the left hand is either just doing one note continuously all the way through and there's just a little bit more going on in the right hand or vice versa or you know the left hand really isn't doing very much at all but on face value it looks complicated but a lot of the time they're not they're really simple so just trust me just bear with me i've kept all that in mind and i've written these exercises accordingly so don't get disheartened if you don't get it straight away the piano is not an overnight thing these lessons are starting starting to get a little bit more difficult for you now so you know I'm, I'm aware of that so stick with it trust me and you will get there so this is lesson nine part three sharps flats and naturals moving on to sharps flats and naturals which look like these three signs that you've got here at the top there sharps and flats are more commonly known as your black notes as some of you as some of you may know this is not always strictly the case before anybody you think no it isn't it's not the case but let's just say for now that it is just to save confusion for the moment naturals which are the ones on the end here refer to the white notes and they are used to cancel out the sharps and the flats so basically sharps are the black notes to the right of the white notes and the flats are the black notes to the left so if you took the note of a this one here the black note diagonally to the right would technically be known as an a sharp some of you might know it as a b flat but in this case it's an a sharp and a black note to the left is a an a flat if you took G, then the black note to the right would be a G sharp. A minute ago it was an A flat, that's correct. But if you're thinking G and upwards, it's a G sharp. G sharp and A flat are exactly the same note anyway. Just depends what, what note you're being asked to play on the music. So sharps and flats are really easy to play and they don't really cause many problems. The key is just to remember to play them. Do remember that if there is an F sharp, for example, in a bar of music like you've got here, and this is a problem that a lot of that I come across with a lot of students. Um, there's another. So if you've got an F sharp here and you've got another another F after it, the rule of music is is that this also must be played as an F sharp because the first one in the bar was this one is two. Lots of students just play the F sharp because they see the sharp in front of it. And then they just play this as an, an F natural or a normal F. So they would just play that F there, for example. But just because it doesn't have a sharp physically written in front of it. The rules of music are is that it doesn't have to have a sharp in front of it because the first one is, this one is as well. If the music wanted you to play it as an F natural or a normal F, for example, it would have to put a natural sign in front of it. Other than that, I would actually play it as an F sharp. If you feel more comfortable doing so, you can actually draw yourself in a little sharp in pencil in front of the note, just to remind you there's absolutely nothing wrong with doing that. I do it nowadays in the music that I play when I've got something really complicated. The last thing I want to be thinking about is, you know, awkward little sharps and flats that I've got going on everywhere when I've got plenty of other things to be thinking about. So I do pop them in as well on the occasional note every now and then, just to make my life easier and to remind me. So I'm gonna play the rest of the exercises now. Exercise six, exercise seven, exercise eight, exercise nine, and exercise 10. Exercise six.
So for the next exercise, exercise seven, you'll need some slightly different fingering on the notes here. Again, just so I can add a little bit of variety with the keeping in the same position where we are on the piano. So the only way you'll come unstuck is if you don't use the fingers that the music says. So here we go. Exercise 8, page 36. So you will notice at bar eight that you've got on the music that there is a little bit of a jump there. That's fine. You've got one, two, three, four, five, and a G sharp is also going to be five. That's absolutely fine. Just jump. There's nothing wrong with doing that. Exercise nine, page 37. <laughs> And finally, exercise 10, page 38. want to be really clever with this one this is a really nice one that you can speed up that could be quite impressive to your friends I'm going to speed it up for you then So it's up to you how fast you want to play this, if you want to go even faster. It's completely up to you. So thanks very much for watching uh, Lesson 9 Part 3, Sharps, Flats and Naturals. Like I said, the exercises are getting difficult, so just stick with them and practice them and just keep referring back to, to what I'm playing and you will soon get there. So don't forget to subscribe, thumbs up the video, and I shall see you all in lesson 10, which is the final lesson.